You know how little ones adore power wheels, right? Those mini motorized vehicles that make their eyes light up with joy? Well, you've probably wondered about the heart and soul of these tiny rides, the battery. Today, we're diving into the world of Power Wheels batteries, and trust us, there's a lot to learn. Let's start with the basics. Power Wheels have been around since the 80s, passing on the tradition of thrilling joy rides from one generation to the next. They're designed for kids aged one to seven, providing an endless fun experience. But before you get one for your child, you need to know about the batteries that power these wheels. Unlike the sleek lithium ion batteries in our smartphones, Power Wheels rely on something called lead acid batteries. Why is this important, you may ask? Well, these lead acid batteries have some quirks. You see, they're sensitive to overcharging. Leave one of these batteries plugged in for too long and you might get overheating, gas production, and increased pressure inside the battery. Not something we want near our kids, right? Now let's talk volts. The voltage level of power wheels can significantly impact battery durability. There's a voltage level for every age group, and understanding this can help you make the perfect choice for your little driver. Power wheels typically come in three flavors, 6V, 12V, and 24V. And this is where it gets exciting. The lifespan of your Power Wheels adventure is closely tied to these voltages. So let's break it down. For adorable toddlers aged one to three, the six volt battery is perfect. It's ideal for slower, safer rides and offers around 45 to 60 minutes of pure excitement. But remember, this isn't set in stone. Maintenance, amperage, and other factors can also affect this. For slightly older speedsters aged three to 10, the 12 volt power wheels are all the rage. You've got two options here, a single 12 volt battery or a dual six volt setup. With the single battery, your little one can enjoy one to 1.5 hours of nonstop fun. But if you go for the dual 6V setup, six plus six, get ready for two hours of adventure. Battery lifespan usually ranges from one to two years with some champs lasting up to three years. Finally, we've got the 24 volt beasts. These are for the older kids who can handle more speed and power. You'll find both single 24 volt batteries and combinations of two 12 volt batteries. They're perfect for handling various terrains, giving children a ride to remember. Typically, these batteries last around two to three years, providing your little daredevil with thrilling adventures lasting about 60 to 120 minutes. These batteries are for more powerful motors, so they won't last as long unless they have a high amperage designated by AH. The base battery is usually 7 amperes, and the higher end is 14 amperes. The higher the number, the more power the battery can hold. So if you buy a 14 ampere battery, it will last double the runtime duration than the 7 ampere battery. To get an exact figure, head over to our website, RC Ride On Cars, to use a calculator that'll give you a time frame using your Power Wheels battery voltage, amperage, number of motors, and wattage per motor. Link in description. However, when your little speedster hops into their power wheels, it's not just about the battery. The duration of their battery-powered adventure depends on several crucial factors, like riding speed, the type of terrain your child explores, their weight, and the age of the battery. Let's start with riding speed. Most power wheels come with preset speed limits, and some models even have parental remote control. These speeds typically range from four to six miles per hour, or even less, depending on the model. But here's the scoop. Higher speeds, the more powerful the motors gobble up battery charge faster. It's basic physics. More speed equals more power demand, so this is certainly a factor to consider. Next up, the type of surface matters. Imagine your child cruising on an uneven, bumpy path. In that scenario, the vehicle struggles, requiring more power to maintain or increase its speed. This results in quicker battery depletion. However, if you switch to a smooth, even road, you'll notice the battery's staying power extends. So where your child chooses to drive can significantly affect the adventure's duration. Weight plays a significant role too. Lighter riders are like a turbo boost for power wheels. Their reduced weight means the vehicle can go faster while sipping less power. But when your child's grand adventures involve a heavier rider, the battery must work harder to keep things rolling. That translates to a quicker emptying of the battery tank. Lastly, Let's talk about battery age. The older the battery, the fewer ride sessions it can deliver before needing a recharge. 
Batteries fresh out of the box have more juice, but as the years roll by, they become less enthusiastic about providing extended playtime. If you want to keep the fun going, consider upgrading the battery. Don't worry, we'll get to that in a bit. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel if you find this video helpful or useful. Now that we've explored the factors affecting battery life, let's talk about how to keep that power flowing smoothly. After all, we want those wheels spinning for as long as possible. First and foremost, the cardinal rule. Charge your Power Wheels battery properly. Consult that trusty manual that comes with the toy. Overcharging is a no-no, as it can harm the battery's performance and overall lifespan. Here's another golden nugget. Never use the battery unless it's fully charged. Running it on low charge can affect its overall performance and might leave your little driver stranded before the adventure's done. Winter storage calls for special attention. This means you really shouldn't leave those batteries in the cold for too long. Charge them for a few hours every month to keep them from hibernating completely. Batteries need love too, right? And let's not forget about water. Keep that battery as dry as a bone. Rainy days aren't ideal for Power Wheels adventures. Keeping the battery away from moisture ensures it stays in tip-top shape. So, how do you spot a failing battery in the Power Wheels? It's all about playing detective and staying ahead of any issues. One common sign is reduced battery life. Over time, you might notice the Power Wheels doesn't zip around as long as it used to. If it's running out of steam sooner than usual, that's your first clue. Sometimes a battery can throw in the towel prematurely. Sudden failure is another red flag. If you plug it in overnight and the next day it's still snoozing, that's a clear sign it's time for a replacement. To play battery detective, grab a trusty tool called a voltmeter. This gadget helps you determine if your child's Power Wheels battery is on the brink. Firstly, make sure you've given the Power Wheels battery a full charge, which can take up to 18 hours. We're gearing up for the ultimate battery test here. Next, locate the battery's prongs, the positive, plus, and negative terminals. Set the voltmeter to the 20-volt range so it can read voltages from 0 to 20 volts. Place the positive red probe on the plus prong and the negative black probe on the minus prong. Now brace yourself for the verdict. If those probes make a snug connection, the voltmeter will give you a reading. What's the magic number to look for? For a healthy battery, you should see a reading above 11.8 volts. Anything lower signals trouble in battery paradise. It usually means your battery is aging or, in rare cases, it's on its last legs. Now don't lose hope if your battery isn't in tip-top shape. There are ways to give it a second wind, and we'll explore the million-dollar question. Should you repair or replace the battery? Power wheels can be a substantial investment, usually ranging from $250 to $300. So if the only hiccup is a fading battery, repairing it is a wallet-friendly choice. A brand new 12-volt battery won't break the bank, usually costing less than $70. The math is clear a budget-friendly fix. But hey, if you're in the mood for an upgrade, there are plenty of Power Wheels models with specific themes and characters. New adventures await. Additionally, you can explore the world of used Power Wheels. Many parents are happy to pass on their trusty old rides when their kids outgrow them, even before the batteries give out. Just make sure you're getting a fair deal, as you might still need to replace that battery. There's also the fact that 12-volt batteries come with a six-month warranty from the date of purchase. It's your guardian against any defects in materials or workmanship. But it's an exclusive club, so only the original purchaser gets the benefits. But here's the fine print. The warranty only covers normal use. So no wild stunts, accidents, neglect, misuse, improper service, or any other shenanigans not related to defects. Note that any DIY repairs will wave goodbye to your warranty. So, if you find yourself in a pickle, you might want to contact the Power Wheels manufacturer for the lowdown on authorized service centers. And always save that original sales receipt. It's your ticket to your warranty. There's also the custom battery conversion route. If you have ever wondered about supercharging Power Wheels with a custom battery conversion, well, it's like giving your ride a turbo boost, but with a few caveats. Converting your standard lead-acid battery to a lithium-1 is possible, but it's not manufacturer-approved. This is a road less traveled, so tread with caution. You'd typically use two 5,400 mAh lithium batteries meant for RC cars. By running them in parallel, you can unlock the power potential, 
extending the range and possibly the battery's life. But, and it's a big but, this isn't an official mod. It's a custom upgrade, and it's not for the faint of heart. You're venturing into uncharted territory and it may void any existing warranties. You'll need to be handy with tools and meticulous with instructions. Safety, of course, is paramount. A mistake could zap your fun, literally. So proceed while understanding the risks and make sure you have the right safety gear. From battery basics to safety tips, you've now got all the tools to ensure your child's ride is as smooth as a freshly paved road. Remember, a well-maintained battery means endless adventures for your little one. Charging, storing, and handling the battery correctly will keep those wheels spinning. And if you ever suspect a faulty battery, don't wait. Safety first. And don't forget the age-old question, repair or replace? With batteries and power wheels, the answer is usually a new battery, a smart and cost-effective move. For the daring parents, custom battery conversions are on the horizon, but tread carefully and always keep safety in the driver's seat. Now parents, it's time to hit the open road with your little speedster, armed with knowledge and excitement. May your Power Wheels adventures be endless, your smiles boundless, and your batteries fully charged. Now it's your turn. How long does your child's Power Wheels battery run per charge? Did we leave out any info? If you have any questions, tell us in the comments.